I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the members of our WhatsApp group, Free Math Solution, to participate actively. Here is another example. The question has been posted by Sai at around 11.20 and 10 minutes after Krishanji has replied. So that is the question and this is the response. Uh, excellent response. So the answer was provided. However, we need a shortcut method for this particular question. So I thought I'll put in my scent to figure out a shortcut method for this question. Now here is this excellent question. It says, there are three numbers. The average of any two of them added to the third number. If the sum obtained are 177, 163 and 138, find the average of largest and smallest number. Four choices are given to you. Well, here is the shortcut method. Let the numbers be A, B and C. And we are saying A is greater than B and B is greater than C, right? This is all I'm trying to explain. Now, what we are given here is average of any two of them added to the third. So, any two of them, let's have these averages, A plus B. So that is average of any two of them added to the third. So that sum is given to us, right? So we can say A plus B by 2 plus C is given to us. A plus C by 2 plus B is given to us, right? And we are also given B plus C divided by 2 plus A, right? Since we have assumed that A is the biggest number and C is the smallest number, we will write from these given numbers the biggest number first. So we'll get this as 177, 163, and then 138, right? Now, it is important that no order is given. So you need to actually uh, straight this out in your mind. And when you write, it should be kind of like this, correct? Now, our focus is to find what is the average of the smallest and the largest? So what we need to figure out is what is A plus C divided by 2. This is what we need to find, right? So that is what we are trying to figure out. So what can we do from here? If I add all of them, if I add them all, what do I get? Let's see. So if I add them, in that case on the right side, let me begin with the left side. We have A plus B plus C. That is clear to us. We have A plus B plus C, right? On this side, we have 2A, 2B, and 2C, right? So we have 2A plus 2B plus 2C. And everything is divided by 2. So half of these, correct? And that sum is given to us as 10 plus 8, 18. So we get 1. 10 plus 7, 17, and we get 1, and then 4, 8, right? So that becomes the total of these. And well, of course, you can take two common. And so what we get on this side is 2 times A plus B plus C, correct? And that is 4, 8. So we can do half of this to get what is A plus B plus C, which is half of 4, 8. And when you divide, you get 2, 3, and 9, right? So we get 239 as sum of A plus B plus C. Now, what do you need to find? We need to find A plus C by 2. Now, consider these two equations. Consider these two equations. Since we need to find this element, right, basically, and what we have here is that the sum of all the three is 239. So let me call these as my equation 1 and equation 2 now. So if I do equation 2 minus equation 1, what will I get? Well, on the left side, we could think this. When we subtract, we get B minus B as 0. A plus C minus A plus C by 2, right? So we have A plus C minus A plus C by 2, right? That is what we get. And on the right side, we get 239 
take away 163. Now this is what we need, right? So a plus c minus half of it is basically half of a plus c. Correct? And here when we take away, 9 take away 3 is 6 and 13 take away 6 is 7. So we get 76 as our answer. Is that clear to you? So this is a shortcut method, right? My explanation took some time. However, it is kind of straightforward. So in any multiple choice test papers which you are preparing for, these simple steps you can see, you can just uh, you know add them all and then when you take the difference as we have shown here clearly, you can easily find the solution. That should not really take more than a minute, right? So practice this question this type of question and see if it makes sense. Now, for you, I have a practice question here. Exactly same wordings, right? And this time we are saying there are three numbers, the average of any two of them added to the third. If the sum obtained are this, this and this, find the average of the largest and the smallest number. Well, again, we know we are talking about the same thing and see how much time it takes, right? So we are saying a plus b by 2 plus c is equal to something. Then we have a plus c by 2 plus b is equal to something else. And the next combination, of course, is combination of b plus c by 2 plus a, right? And since we have taken a as the largest number, the largest number in this is 162. We are going to put it there. Then comes 153 and then comes 141, correct? You can now add them all. So when you add them all, what do you get? You get two times A plus B plus C, right? These are halves and halves becomes two, right? And here we get two plus three, five plus one as six, six plus four, 10 and five is 15, right? And then 456. So what we get here is that A plus B plus c is equal to half of this, which is 2, and 2 times 2 and 8, right? So now we again have the same situation. What we need to figure out is the average of the largest and the smallest number. So basically, we are interested in finding this number. Does make sense to you, right? So since we are interested in finding this number, we'll find the difference between this equation and that equation, correct? So we'll again do 2 minus 1 to get our answer and so our answer is let me write it in a different ink 228 take away 153 so 8 when you take away you get 5 and from 12 you get 7 so you get 75 as your answer do you see that so it should take that much of time to do such questions i hope it makes sense Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. And again, thanks a lot for participating and giving me time to think over proper solutions and providing you with some tips, right? So that's a great thing. I'd like you to keep it up. Uh, keep posting the problems as well as solutions for this free math solutions. You can also follow the link which I provided to join our group and participate actively. I hope that makes sense. Thanks and all the best.